Wow, that was good. That was very good. Brazilians will be watching on. They're up next. I wonder if they can see a, uh, a clock in that holding area before they head towards the start finish. I wonder if they've seen that time from the Vityaz team, the Russian outfit. You can see them making their way behind there, blowing heavily of course as the temperatures rise here in the United Arab Emirates. In fact, um, it's going to be the Iraqi counter-terrorism SWAT team who go out last today, unfortunately for them. They uh, went out first, I think it was yesterday morning, so an early start and a late start. But it's the COT team of Brazil who are up next. And they're underway. The man in the middle had a couple of goes at that uh, target. Got it at the second attempt. Still okay though. Each element of this challenge can result in time delays. It's uh, about getting through each aspect of today's tower attempt with um, minimal mistakes. And that's been the story of the week so far, that's for sure. There goes the first sniper round. Looks good. It is the specialist discipline being a sniper. But today's target's considerably further away than what we've witnessed in the first three days. Hooked on, thumbs up. Which means he can now go. having to set themselves or just pack kit away or get other pieces of equipment out as they're running. Anything that just shaves off a few precious seconds as we see the Texas wheel being dispatched quite effectively by the Brazilian team. He's now joined by his colleague Now they've got a full complement, all three assault team members, which means these uh, targets should go down a lot quicker. Now it's just worth pointing out one of the rules, which is those boxes that we see regularly, whether it's the uh, First challenge, the handgun element right at the beginning of this uh, day four, or whether it's the Texas wheel, or whether it's the multiple targets set up. 
you're not allowed to take your weapon out of its holster until you're inside that box in fact it is a penalty if you do it's a penalty if you touch the grip outside of that roped off box sometimes it's a painted box of course the uh, weapon must not be touched outside of that box as we see the sniper cross the line and just over the four minute mark for COTU Brazil 409.87 so still a reasonable time and strong performances here this week both Vityaz, SOBR and of course the aforementioned Ahmad team Whistle goes. No problems for them getting into that first box. Unlike we saw from the Serbian outfit where a road bag was uh, dropped. Straight through the box. And gloves on as they're going up the stairs. So Vityaz of Russia employing a slightly different technique. Deciding to put the gloves on as they race up those flights of stairs instead of what we've seen from some teams, which is putting the gloves on as after they finish the first handgun challenge. Done and dusted. Efficient from the snipers. The third salter can't go until the first two have hit the ground and are out of the ropes, more importantly. Only then can the third assaulter descend. Meanwhile, the snipers are ascending. First two assaulters sprint down that long straight This Texas star is uh, short range but once it starts moving it makes it a much more difficult target. The snipers have finished at the top of the tower. Which means they can start the journey home. This looks good from Vityaz of Russia. And they will come across the finish line just as their sniper colleagues head the other way. Oh, that's quick. That is quick, and the first team to break the three-minute mark this Thursday morning. Vityaz of Russia, two minutes 58. They uh, knock some six seconds off the 3-0-4 of the Ahmad team, also from Russia.